Welcome back to another episode of the Assassin's Creed Mirage playthrough. We, uh, we're about to go into the basement here and, uh, see what wonderful things are in store for us down there. Hopefully it's nothing crazy, but we're about to find out. So let's get to it. Wait, what? Um, excuse me? <laughs> I was literally standing on nothing. Okay, there we go. Gee, many Christmas. That was wild. Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Looks clear. There's a guy right there. Well, I kind of wanted to drag him. All right, here goes nothing. I was going to say, do I look like a prisoner if I lock myself in here? Will they not come after me? Is that a thing? I don't, I don't think it's probably a thing. I don't really like walking around in that mode. I don't know why. It just, it's hard for me to, uh, oh, oh, there's somebody. Hey! Around the corner, buddy. Nothing over there is worth a dang. Alright, so there's like another entrance or something. I always check in here because you never know what you're going to find. I just phased through a door. Nice. Alright, so we should have that guy there. Hey! Shh, you didn't hear anything. Okay, we're gonna blow this room up. No! God oh, damn it, blow up! Jiminy Christmas. Hold on. No, we killed the big guy though. Oh, what? I hit the. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I hit the button to, uh. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. All right, um, what do we got going on here? Okay, I don't know where we're going or what we're, where we're really, you know, where we're really trying to head with this. Uh, that doesn't sound, that doesn't sound good. Oh my God. That sounds like someone's getting murdered down there. My goodness. There is a deep wrongness here. A reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. Okay. That door is barred. What have they done to these people? Ah, I get to dress up. We get to play dress Your up. I will not need this anymore. Taking clothes off a dead man. This should help me blend in. I love how he still keeps his assassin's 
guild thing on his back like oh yes okay a disguise is helping you avoid detection in certain locations as long as you keep a low profile I don't know how much I trust this. Please, take me back there. I don't belong here. Next subject! In here now! Oh shit, am I the next subject now? Uh oh. There are horrors here, but the most terrifying thing is that I have seen it all before. Somehow. Who dares meddle with my great work? Killing my allies and spoiling my lecture. There's so many people here. It looks like the handiwork of a trained assassin. Must be some faction in the round city. Or one of those jealous broods in Champagne. These killings were too subtle for mercenaries. No matter. Once I understand how the mechanism works. I oh my goodness. All those little white dots are people. There's so many to fight. In here, Lackwit. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I doubt we have our sword to fight back to. I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? I love how he just doesn't answer. This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. Okay. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance. And upon such dark secrets, we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? The sword to your throat? That's what, bitch. Justice. <laughs> Got him. This may be the place. It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness. There we go, another feather covered in blood. Oh, the Jenny. The Jenny's coming.
I'm gonna assume we just need to get the hell out of here. Oh wait, there's no way it's just right out the door, right? Wait, what? There's no way, dude. No question about it. Fazil was neck deep in the order. The scholar's notes. He believes in these ancient beings, the masters of memory. No way, dude. No way it's this easy. That was a lot of stuff. Wait, is that a new... It is a new thing. We haven't... We haven't done that, uh... Synchronized spot yet. So let's go up there and do that real quick. I don't know why. It, that's very weird. We for sure had done that before. Um, so we have one dervish artifact here. I didn't see how many historical facts or historical things are left. Let's look. Uh, okay. So we did finish. We finished that. So we have what? Just the final thing here, huh? Okay. So we we're supposed to go back to the, the main place. Oh, I wanted, we had skills points to spend as well. We have what, three? So we can do extra tool capacity, um, Eagle Sense, or Enkidu Acuity. Uh, let's do that one. Why not? Or we're gonna travel over to, uh,. To a job well done, and I will see you when we get there. All right, guys, we are back over to the uh, assassin's place. Oh shit, knee here. How did you find this place? Easy. I just followed the trails of blood. You should not be here. Do you talk to him? Sometimes. Yes. But he does not answer. I do. We have drifted apart since... since that day. But what we have seen back at the palace... this light... these sounds... we cannot have possibly forgotten. Unlike you, Nihal, I keep the past in the past. You call yesterday the past? And this Jinni of yours, this repulsive shadow that crushes your chest, has it crawled back into the past too? No, it is still here. Sometimes, even in the day, I feel its breath on my neck. The nightmare invades the real world. I mean, I or imagine killing that many people would do that to you. Been part of it. This is part of your reality, Basim. I am a part of your reality, too. I am your past. Tell me, will you leave me there? In the dark corners of your memory? I will not. Now, if you could invent a mechanical rug sweeper, <laughs> Bossy, it is done. And how did it all play out? I'm afraid this is a tale for another day. We will save it for one of our campfires. You have done well, my friend. Better get back to my work. You know how easily I get bored. Thank you for what mm. you did, Bossy. It is the truth. You have done well. 
One last thing. Arib. Was she involved? Not that I know. But we must remain vigilant. All right, we need to change back our uh, our costume too, because I don't look like like this whole like thing they, that he's wearing right now. Uh oh, the Jenny's back, I'm sure. <laughs> I am here. Basim, the Mahal. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake, will join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, uh -oh. Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest and why they sought it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we're going down a dark path, guys. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya. No, why? What? There we go. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. Okay, so we are in the final chapter, I would imagine. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got a new talisman. Oh, shit. We are a rank of assassin among the hidden ones of Alamut. Sick. All right, so let's see. Where do we need to go? Whoa, buddy. We have a long way to go. I don't know how in the world we got all the way over here. Um, interesting. When we ran to a place over here, <laughs> we just teleported. I, I don't know. Interesting. All right. We are going to fast travel real quick. And we'll... All right. We're going to go report to the Bureau and then, uh... And then we're out of here. I think what we'll do is we'll finish the storyline of the game, guys. Um, and then once we have finished that, we will... Uh, no, down. Thank you. Um, once we finish that, then we'll go do the 100% stuff. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al Mutabakil. What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master. Have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. 
We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Damn, Rebecca saved tells me by the bell. His mother, Khabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the round city. Investigate Ooh, all here three, we go. but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. All right. There's probably, yeah, there's no new contracts, of course. Poet, politician, and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. All right, up, up, and away. Come on, give us our new storyline. Okay, we're gonna have to pick it. Okay, so... Find a rib. Alright, so I guess we'll just pick one. We'll start with Muhammad and, uh... Fulad might have more information. Well, that would have been useful to know while I was inside the fucking building. How annoying. This one is very annoying to get down to. Alright, give me more information, Fulad. Seriously? Fulad? I can't speak? Okay, Fulad, there we go. My finder of facts. My fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? What do you know of Qabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Qabiha rose to become Al-Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the round city. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafa. Anything else? He gave me like no information Shukran, at all. Fulad. All right. That was super unhelpful. All right, we should be able to fast travel to within the city, um, which will make life easy. Yep, we sure can. Cause this is one of the ones that you can't just walk through the front gate. You have to like go over the wall and you have to kill people on your way in. And, like once you're on the wall, you're, you're wanted, but once you get off the wall, you're fine. It, it kind of makes no sense. Kind of does. It's like a gated community type deal. They say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. 
All right, we're going to get over here to our next place. Uh, we're probably going to do some pickpocketing on the way because I'm sure these no people... Oh. The harem unless he is a eunuch. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So we're going to have a I lot of uh, so this historical spots in, in here. Got some more. There's another one. Three of 14. There's a bunch of them inside the round city. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. The round city is kind of like the last place where we just haven't, haven't done a bunch of stuff. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming the front gates aren't open. Of course. Oop. One more up here. Hmm. Dervish artifact. jump on this hole here how do I how do I get into here There's got to be what like a beautiful homes, far different from the flowers of Anbar or something. <laughs> How in the world? Interesting. Got to be a window or something I can go in. No, carry. Thank you. How do I go upwards? Don't mind me, just walking through your house.
There we go. I knew we could solve this problem. I gotcha. Oh wait, am I in somebody's house that I'm supposed to be in? Wait, who am I supposed to be investigating? Muhammad. Oh no, okay. I got sidetracked, I'm sorry. There's another one right there. All right, guys, I think we're going to end this episode right here. We will pick up tomorrow uh, where we left off. We're going to try to get some more of this stuff done in the round city. Maybe hit some of these side things. But um, yeah, guys, I appreciate everybody. And I hope you all have a great day. See you tomorrow.